Thank you for choosing Phyoptics from Cincinnati Bell. We're happy to have you as a valued customer. Follow the simple steps in this tutorial and you'll soon be connected to Crystal Clear TV and the fastest internet in town. The equipment needed for your Phyoptics installation may have been shipped to you. It can also be picked up from your local Cincinnati Bell store. The Phyoptics Apex Gateway replaces your existing internet equipment and provides the network connections to access your entertainment, information, and communications from all of your devices. You will also need a set-top box for each television in your home. The Phyoptics Atom DVR features a terabyte of storage and can record up to eight shows simultaneously. The Phyoptics Orbit HD box has a compact design and connects wirelessly to the Atom DVR for access to your Phyoptics whole home DVR recordings. Before installing the equipment, locate the Phyoptics wiring inside your home. The in-home wiring may include a data jack, which will be labeled and have a blue Ethernet port. It is usually centrally located and may be near the TV or in the home office. If your wiring doesn't include a data jack, then you'll connect directly to an ONT, which should look like one of these. It's usually in the garage or basement and is mounted to a wall where the Phyoptics wiring enters your home. Once you've located the data jack or ONT, you are ready to connect the equipment, starting with the internet gateway. Plug one end of the provided blue ethernet cable into the WAN port on the gateway. Plug the other end into the data jack or into port one on the ONT. If connecting directly to the ONT, make sure it is plugged in and powered on. Now, plug the provided power adapter into a nearby wall outlet and connect it to the power port of your gateway. Once power is connected, the indicator lights on the front of the gateway will begin to blink. The power light will blink while the gateway initializes. When it's complete, the light will become steady green. The Ethernet WAN light will then begin to blink while the gateway syncs up with the Phyoptics Internet Network. When the light turns green, it means you have a good connection. When the Internet Indicator light turns green, the gateway has fully initialized. Now you're ready to connect the first of your set-top boxes to your TV. Plug one purple end of the HDMI cable into the output of the box and the other to the input of your TV. If your TV does not have an HDMI input, use the provided AV cable to connect the AV out of the box to the yellow, red, and white connections of your TV. Next, plug the power adapter into an available wall outlet and then to the power port of the box. To complete the installation of the set-top box, establish a network connection to the Phyoptics Apex Gateway. To access the network setup menu, use the remote control. Install the batteries, then follow the steps in the Phyoptics TV installation instructions to program the remote to the set-top box. After programming the remote, power on the TV and the set-top box. The box will start the initialization process. If this is the first time connecting to the box, the network setup screen will come up automatically. You can also access it at any time after the initial setup by pressing the WPS button on the back of the box. From the Network Setup screen, choose the connection you're using for your installation. To connect wirelessly, the box must be at least 7 feet from the gateway and have three bars of Wi-Fi signal. If the wireless signal is weak, or if the set-top box is placed closer to the gateway, connect them with the included yellow Ethernet cable. Connect the cable between the Ethernet port of the set-top box and any of the yellow Ethernet LAN ports of the gateway. If you choose a wired connection, the set-top box will automatically initialize. Click Finish to turn to the default channel. If you're connecting wirelessly, select Wireless Wi-Fi and click Start to initiate the wireless connection. A countdown timer will appear. Before the timer expires, press and hold the WPS button on the front of the gateway until the Wi-Fi lights flash orange. The set-top box will now automatically attempt to connect to the gateway. If a connection could not be made, you will receive the message, Wireless Connection Failed. Click OK and repeat the process until you have successfully paired the equipment. Select Finish and the set-top box will make any necessary updates and connect to your Phyoptics account. When the wireless connection is complete, 
your Fioptics TV will turn to the default channel. Now repeat the steps to connect each television to a set-top box and to set up their network connections. If a set-top box loses its wireless connection, or if you move a box to a different room of the house, simply repeat the network setup process to reconnect to Wi-Fi. Make sure the box has three bars or more of signal at its new location. Your Fioptics TV installation is complete and you can connect your mobile devices to Fioptics Internet. The Wi-Fi indicators on the front of the gateway will light up when it's ready for wireless connections. To connect your devices to Wi-Fi, you will need the SSID network name and the Wi-Fi password from the label on your gateway. Go to the Wi-Fi settings on your mobile device and select the SSID network name that matches the one on the label. When prompted, enter the Wi-Fi password. You are now ready to enjoy Fioptics TV and the fastest internet in town from Cincinnati Bell. If you need additional assistance, visit the Help Center of our website. You can also stop by one of our retail stores or give us a call.